Hey, welcome back to Groups. We hope that you have already this evening had a wonderful time of fellowship and food and hanging out. I really pray that this group that you're in is such a blessing in your life, that you guys are making real friends, that you guys are hanging out and, uh, and checking in with one another. You know, one of my favorite parts of our group structure is, yes, when we get together, it's wonderful. But I hope that you're texting each other throughout the week. I hope that you're going to do stuff with each other throughout the week. Another encouragement I wanted to give as the pastor is, hey, in church, come sit together as a group. Sit together as couples. Come to worship. Sit down the row from each other. That way you can give each other the look down the line and like, that's you. That's one of my favorite things about church is learning how to be church people together. That's a wonderful thing. So I hope that you're having a great time tonight. Let's get started. This week, we talked about the spiritual discipline of simplicity. This is starting a new sect of our focused intentional training. These are the outward things. You know, for the last several weeks, we've talked about the inward disciplines. We've talked about meditation and prayer and fasting and study. As we kick off tonight, the icebreaker is talk about those things in your life. How have the inward things been going? How's your meditation? How's your prayer? How's your fasting? How's your study going? Share with one another. These things have really been helpful. I'm not doing so good with these things. Talk about how have the inward disciplines been going so far? Are you getting F-I-T for Christ? Today, before we begin our discussion question, let's remind ourselves of the scripture. Somebody take out your phone, take out your Bible, and read the passage so it can be fresh on our mind. Take out your Bible or phone and read Matthew 6, 33, just so we can hear God's word, and then we'll talk about it a little bit. Stop right here, read the Bible. All right, now that it's fresh on our mind, about seeking first the kingdom of heaven. Let's talk about that a little bit. You know, today we talked about simplicity and the opposite of simplicity in our lives is a mess. We talked about many of us have a life that maybe intentionally or unintentionally has become very messy, M-E-S-S. -S. We talked about, you know, maybe your life has become really mediocre or maybe it is excessive, the things in your life, or extremely stressful because of circumstance or what we've been putting into our life. And you know what, maybe we're in a situation that's just scary, mediocre, excessive, stressful, scary. Well, how do we combat those things? The Bible says that we should seek first the kingdom. So we talked about the acrostic today, to seek, to stop, and that means to address the needs to address the issue. Maybe you are striving to fill your life with too much that is not holy, that is not what Christ is calling you to, but what do you need to stop in your life? And then the E was excavate. Let's dig down in our life. Sometimes we just got to stop first and evaluate. And then when we start to dig down, what are the real issues? What's going on in our life? Why is everything a mess? Let's evaluate the root of the problem. Then we did the other E, which is employ. Some of us need to not only assess and figure out what's going on, why is our life so messy? Why are we doing things that aren't bringing all glory to the Lord? But what do we need to work biblically? What biblical tactic do we need to direct our focus and our attention with? You know, the Bible is the thing that really is shaping and realigning our focus. And then the K, S-E-E-K, is the word no. You know, some of us need to be reminded and maybe believe for the first time that as we seek the kingdom of God, that all these things truly will be added to us in the fullness of time, in the appropriateness of time, in the right way. So go around the circle. Here's the question. What do you need to work on in your seek? Do you need to stop something? Do you need to excavate a part of your life? Do you need to employ biblical tactic or do you need to know that God is who he says he is and that we can trust him? Talk about your seek around the circle. Welcome back to our pastor challenge section. I love this section. You know, we've been talking about the mess in our life. Here's the challenge this week. As we read through our Isaiah 41.10, and we're reminded of God's promises, I will 
help you. I am your God. I will lift you. I will surely be who you need. There's a part of our life that's a mess. Every single one of us has that thing. Here's the challenge this week. As we read through Isaiah 41.10, what practices will we implement to clean up a mess in our life? Just one mess this week. How can you pray and think about what's something that I can start to tackle and clean up a part of the mess in my life? Share those things. Sermon takeaway is the next one. Let's talk about in the discussion, how can we edify the body? You know, when he said these things this morning in the sermon, I heard this. I've never thought about this. This was something that was really great. Talk about something that you took away. Maybe it was just personally convicting for you. Share with the group when you were listening this morning in the sermon, what did the Lord speak to you? What's something that you took away from the sermon? Remember those things. This is our time of prayer, and I hope that you are implementing a scribe, a secretary, as it were, to take notes and put them in your group chat or your group text so that we can share these things one with another throughout the group. Take some time, share your prayer request, celebrate what the Lord is doing, take some time praying together. I hope you've had a wonderful night in groups. We're so glad that you're joining us this semester, and we hope that you are becoming more and more focused and intentional in your training. Be focused and intentional this week. God bless you. Have a wonderful, wonderful week.